hello and welcome to the first of many Envision tutorials. Today we are going to be teaching you how to buy cryptocurrency with virtually any currency in the world. This tutorial is for anyone who's had no real exposure to crypto and doesn't know how to purchase crypto using basic currency. We will be providing another tutorial on how to buy Viz tokens through the LCX exchange once you have cryptocurrency in the LCX wallet. Currently, the only assets you can participate in the public sale is Ethereum, Bitcoin, USDC and Euros. Because most of the world can't participate in Euros, I'm going to be showing you today how to use Binance Exchange to convert any fiat from around the world into cryptocurrency. Once we purchase that cryptocurrency, I'll then be showing you how to send that cryptocurrency to the LCX exchange to then buy Viz token. Today, we're going to be using the Binance Exchange to purchase our crypto. Uh, this exchange accepts most currencies from around the world, so you'll be able to transfer any currency in pretty much instantly and then buy either Ethereum, USDC, Bitcoin, and then send that to the LCX exchange. In this tutorial, I'll just be showing you how to buy cryptocurrency with Binance and converting it to a currency that accepts this. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to set up a Binance account. So if you click register in the top right here, this will take you to the registration page. I'm in Australia, I'm going to enter my email, create a password, and create an account. Get you to do a fun little jigsaw puzzle here, so just complete that. And now they're going to send you an email to the email account you used. So you'll receive an email from Binance, which looks like this. So just copy this code in. Come back to Binance, enter the code, submit. Your email will get verified. So as soon as you copy and paste that code in, uh, we'll need to verify our account. So you'll come to the top here and you'll click verify. So you'll need to start the verification process immediately in order to start buying cryptocurrency. So you need to verify yourself with your driver's license or your passport. I recommend using a passport as usually uh, the verification process goes through instantly if you use your passport. Um, so I'm not going to fill this out since I've already done this. Cool, so once you're verified guys, we'll just come to the home page in Binance and then we'll click over here, buy crypto and we're going to be depositing in AUD with PayID because that is instant. So when buying crypto, um, it's always good to consider your purchase in USD. That's kind of what crypto is measured in. Um, so I like to do the conversion of AUD to USD, or this can be from whatever country you're from, um, prior to making any investments. Um, so you can do that with a quick, um, I guess, Google convert. Um, so in this example today, I'm gonna to be sending 150 USD into the account. So I will quickly do the conversion and figure out how much I need to spend. There's roughly a $35 fee uh, US when transferring um, cryptocurrency from Binance to another wallet or exchange. So we've got to account for that as well. So I would make this 185 USD to AUD for 150 US investment. So 255, we're gonna round it up. We're gonna bring it over back into Binance, we're going to continue on through the transfer. Round this up to 255. Click continue. And now this is going to bring up uh, a few sort of bit of information about the fees. Um, we're going to click OK. And then it's going to spit out a nice email address here to send the funds through using PayID. So we use Westpac. Um, it's very simple to send PayID payments through email on Westpac. Um, every bank has pay ID to emails, or most do in Australia. So it's fairly simple to, I guess, Google how to do this with your specific bank if you're unclear, but I'll run you through the process on how to do it uh, with Westpac. Uh, pay ID might not be available in every country, so um, just use your preferred method um, for whichever country you're from. So we're gonna click up, make a payment, pay new payee, we're gonna come down to email address, I'm going to copy in the email address that Binance has provided for us. Now we don't need to worry about reference or description. We're just going to punch in the amount we said, which was 255. Double check that that's the amount you're putting in. Yep, 255. And then we're going to click continue. So 
So it's just making me make a new nickname. So I'll say Binance Tom Ifla. Save it for future transactions. Continue. I've already made payments to this account before, so it's just saying the pay is already on the same list. Do you want to continue anyway? I want to continue anyway. Confirm. Send me my code. Cool, and now that's gonna be completed. Okay, so once you've made the transaction, it should be fairly instant. Um, so I've just refreshed the page after a couple of minutes and my 255 Australian dollars has appeared here. Um, so now what we wanna do is we're gonna convert this to USDC. So now I am using USDC because the USDC coin is tied to the American dollar. So basically one USDC coin represents one American dollar. Uh, so it's easier to use this coin to sort of make payments and you can, I guess, get a better idea of how much you're actually investing. So we're gonna come up to trade. We're gonna go convert. We're gonna select AUD as we've just deposited AUD and we're gonna convert this into USDC. Now USDC is one of the key pairings that Viz takes so you can purchase Viz with USDC. Um, so we remember we had 255 where you can click max which will bring it to 255 and then you can preview your conversion and see what it will look like. So this will give me 187 USDC. So I'll click convert. Great, success. So now if we look over into our wallet You'll notice we have 187 USDC tokens, so 187 USD. So if you've already set up an LCX account and had it verified, you'll be able to sign in and click on Wallet. We'll go to Deposit because we're depositing crypto into the LCX exchange. We'll come down here, we'll find the USDC token. Where are ya? There we are. And we're gonna click Deposit USDC. Sending any other coin or any other network to this deposit address may result in the loss of your crypto. So make sure you are sending it to this exact address that it's given you. Do not use this address. This is my unique address. Yours will be different to this. So now we've got that address copied. We're gonna come back into Binance. We're gonna click withdraw. Now we are withdrawing USDC coin. So we'll click that. And we're copying and pasting the address that LCX has given us in the deposit wallet. So we'll come back into the LCX wallet. We'll make sure that's correct. Ending in 7D. This is ending in 7D. So I've got the correct wallet address. And now USDC is on the Ethereum net. So ETH, Ethereum, ERC20, fee $35. That's what we're gonna be using. So we'll click that. And then we're gonna click max which is 150 USDC. So we almost got it right for $150 investment, a little bit more. So now we're gonna click withdraw, continue, get code for email and phone. So it's gonna send a code to your email and to your phone. Just type these in. Submit. Success. Now sending Ethereum um, can take between five and 10 minutes. Um, so don't panic if it hasn't arrived in the LCX account instantly. This can take almost up to 15 minutes in some instances um, and you'll receive an email from LCX once it's arrived in your LCX account. Okay, so now I've waited about 10 minutes. Um, I've received an email saying it's been deposited into my account. So I'll come back to balance. And yep, here we can see 150 USD has been deposited into my LCX account. And that concludes this tutorial, guys. Thanks for following along. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to participate in the Viz public sale using your cryptocurrency in LCX.